Okay, so this is what, turn eight? I believe so, of uh, Twilight Imperium. I picked the uh, strategy choices, but I did another thing. I realized the game is the long game that I chose to play is not really more interesting. It doesn't include anything else. It's not like it gives more of a chance for, well, maybe it does with the the, uh, the blue cards, more likelihood that one of the I can win cards is in there. But for the most part, and what I was going to say there is it's not really more of a challenge in terms of, oh, I want to capture all the planets, or I want to do this. It's just longer. The stalemate and, and swinging back and forth will just go on further as people are trying to collect more points, perhaps from this, or from these little things that they can put their meeples down on, or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> and I don't want to cope with such a long neuro. I mean, I really don't. So what I did, yeah, I'm still thinking I'm finishing it, is I shortened the board to the, the uh, shorter game. I pulled two of the last two of the uh, level one public objectives out and put and took out two, making sure that they wouldn't be the uh, special one, uh, the end game one two of the uh, level two public objectives out, which restores this back to the short game, uh, to the normal game. But yeah, it really is a giant, you know, I mean, I, I have the same thing to say about, you know, your, your, your history of the world or for a science fiction game, Amoeba Wars. These games where the goal is get some victory point level, yeah, that just does not do it for me. Actually, Amoeba Wars, I think, has real victory conditions. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this, uh, you know, where the victory condition is reach a certain point on the track or be the highest victory points at some point, that just doesn't thrill me. Now, you could say Europa Universalis suffers from the same problem. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't really pay attention to the victory conditions in that too much because, to tell you the truth, the game's just so unbalanced that there's no way that that could be the focus of the game. But that is the focus of this game. There's no historical objectives, nothing else to follow. You're chasing victory points. That's it. And, you know, to me it doesn't matter too much whether I'm chasing victory points with lots of spaceships on a hex tile or if I'm doing it by playing a game of cards. And I'd rather take the less painful route if all I'm doing is chasing victory points. All right. Yeah, spiel over. Uh, let me uh, look over what people picked. And again, the obvious. First player picked uh, the victory point one. The second player grabbed initiative. From there, Red says, Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I need diplomacy. Now, unfortunately, they're not going to be able to shut Black up if Black advances first thing, which they probably will, given the diplomacy pick. But at least they'll be able to keep Yellow at bay and not lose more to them and concentrate all their efforts against Black. As to Yellow, they took a technology advantage, thinking, I'm going to want to consolidate my position if I've got Black as a barrier here and Red as a barrier here. And I really want more tech because I am going to be fighting at some point. The other things, political, a handful of cards, eh, so so. And logistics, I got tons of counters. Those uh, didn't seem terribly valuable. What about other things like trade or something? Yeah, a lot of money would be nice. I'd like to rebuild my fleet, but I think I could do that with mostly with what I've got. Tech is the hard thing to get. I get that for free uh, with this pick. Why not? Uh, next player went with trade. I want more money. Uh, <laughs> why do I want more money? I don't know. No really good reason, but there wasn't much else that I want, to tell you the truth. Uh, warfare, which is the only kind of 
thing that I, I wouldn't get elsewhere or didn't already have uh, just didn't strike me as terribly advantageous in terms of my position. I don't see myself making a lot of attack moves. Uh, I'm going to hit black once. I'm going to pull through here, make a threat there. And then I've got this forward movement against blue, perhaps. For purple, well, they took warfare because they do really want it. They only have one system, and being able to trigger uh, a build and then get out of there seems pretty important to them. All right, let's get started. So, Black opened things up by marching into this space and taking both planets. Uh, destroyed about two dreadnoughts and a carrier that were there. I don't remember. Certainly a heavy force. They took some damage, however. And now here's the problem. I'm not sure I see enough force for Red to destroy this, but on the other hand, they're positioned poorly for facing Yellow. What I think I want to do, I'm going to use this diplomacy action, but I think I'm going to trigger it on Yellow. And let me see what people do for the secondary uh, refreshing exhausted planets. The only person with exhausted planets is Black. They could spend a strategy allocation to refresh the ones they just captured. I don't think that's terribly valuable to them. Uh, they either are going to hold this or not. It's uh, Being able to build a planetary, a, 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 a spaceport there doesn't make a lot of sense to me at this moment. It may be a wise move. I don't know if they have one. They should. They only have two on the board. But they got this pile of pieces, which is hard to sort. Here's one. Okay. So they could. And if I move some of this plastic garbage out of the way, I see there's not a lot of production there. So I don't think I want to expend there. Um, so I'm not going to do that. And no one else can. So that's two. That puts us over on. And I whip over here to see which ones I didn't have. Okay, three and four haven't but this is what I have to do every turn. Three and four haven't been played, so now we go to five and we find them and throw that there. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, and we'll go on with them. Green launched their huge uh, carrier fleet, it looks like, through and grabbed these two planets of blacks that were kind of un uh, un undefended. And now, and now they're thinking, wow, I wish I had that warfare chip because black is really exposed to me at this point. Um, now purple's put in this horrible position. They have, they can't build any more ships. All they could build if they activate this is uh, their uh, more ground units. They don't want to do that. Instead, they're going to burn a command uh, unit and drop it somewhere. It doesn't really matter where. And yell at green, get out of my territory. Come on, I need to go. And green will say, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely an issue here is that green is blocking, is still blockading the purple pieces. All right, and after six, we find seven, which hopefully is actual, is over here. Technology was the next pick. Uh, this guy, I don't know, he, he went for something. I think he went for the deep space cannon to help defend his territories. Uh, and a number of other people also bought, because at this point, uh, Grabbing a technology is not saying, oh, I'm not going to have production this turn. Early in the game it was that way, but for this, for most of the um, races here, blue was the one exception they didn't spend because of it. Uh, these. Um, that's from the status phase still. Uh, The points were obviously there. Now for blue, it's kind of iffy, but they think they're going to need their fleet very, very soon, and they think they're going to need to build another one. Since the eight player is out, 
they figure they'll get to rebuild so they'll get that option um, but everyone else is kind of looking at I got enough money to build what I need and to buy a technology so we saw a number of new technologies come out mainly looking forward uh, well, black didn't do it either uh, mainly looking forward to the fighting directly to the fighting or 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 increased speed uh, but I think no one took that I think everyone took some sort of fighting type ability uh, the game's about fighting though so most of the abilities are it's just oh actually these guys took micro technology which gives them a bonus uh, in money producing for trade there's just so much money for most of the people now they're obviously not one of them. They need money badly, which is why the trade advantage is more desirable for them. All right, uh, and I guess we go on to player eight. Well, Red, and I just wanted to catch this moment, has just invaded uh, or counter invaded the space they pulled out of or were defeated in. And they've done a couple of things. Um, I don't know that they're terribly stronger than black. It's about equal. Black has two dreadnoughts, uh, which will be very, very potent, but they're both damaged. Red managed to pull their Admiral into play, however, which is also a huge advantage. Red also has this fighter prototype, which gives their fighters an additional plus two. In addition to the cybernetics, that's plus three. Their fighters are hitting on like a six. Uh, that's pretty damn potent, to tell you the truth. And they're going to get the initial fire that their uh, coalition has from the cruisers. However, this is an important enough battle that Letnav may well be spending, well, probably will be spending some trade goods to get additional plus ones on all their ships. They haven't done this yet, but it's time to start, you know, utilizing what I've got because I think the game's almost over, and I think this is a key battle. An important enough battle that Black played into the Breach, which uh, puts one of their Dreadnoughts basically to an early de death. It would, all fire goes to that Dreadnought before anything else can die. But it gave them an additional plus one. They still got wiped out, and they got wiped out quite handily, actually. Um, they didn't roll too well. But then on the ground combat, Red only went for the one weak planet. They bombarded it, didn't kill it. <laughs> Sent two troops in. Both troops were killed. So, uh, you know, I mean, the important thing was the fleet battle, but still, losing those planets is... Uh, had they gained the planets, that would have been a bigger gain, uh, m much more value to Red than just wiping out the fleet. Wiping out the fleet was the main goal, though. All right, so that was player two... Didn't move it. Uh, now I gotta look over. Three and four are used, so I'm gonna be over here again. Finished our way around, uh, I mean, largely with production, even purple. Put out something. Uh, they can't get anywhere useful with it. They can only get to green planets to attack, uh, but at least they can get started on their way with a bunch of troops or something. They don't have the, uh, the transport speed. XSD transport or whatever, XRD. Uh, a lot of other people, though, you see blue put their force in place. Uh, black also. Yellow threw a force down. Uh, oh. Anyway, let's send this one up. Uh, what is this? Turn three, six. This has to be turn seven. 